Peace family. This is Lions Day with another news and commentary. Uh, um, this is articles from the Atlanta Black Star. Judge denied immunity to officers claim he acted in self-defense in a fatal shooting of an unarmed black man. In Montgomery, Alabama, a judge refused to grant immunity Thursday to a white Alabama police officer who said he was acting in self-defense when he fatally shot an unarmed black man in 2016. Montgomery Police Officer Aaron Cody Smith will go on trial next month on the murder charge for the death of 58-year-old Greg Gunn. Montgomery Judge Greg Griffin made the decision to deny immunity after a hearing in which Smith described an escalating confrontation and what he said was his fear for his life because Gunn was arming himself with a paint pole from WSFA reported. I have to admit to you, I didn't find officer's testimony credible, Griffin said. I don't feel you have met the burden of proof. This trial will proceed on August 13th. Fe- the February, six- February 2016 shooting happened after Smith stopped Gunn as Gunn was walking through his neighborhood. Smith testified he was absolutely in fear of, of his life when he made the decision to shoot. The station reported. He said Gunn swatted his hand away during a frisk and then ran from him. Smith said he first tried to stun Gunn and Patton to control him. Smith said he pulled his weapon because he thought Gunn was armed himself with a 6 foot 1.8 meter painter's pole from his front porch. He went from trying to get away from me and everything I tried to do to stop him is not working. Taser is useless, baton is useless, telling him to get on the ground is completely useless, and now he's arming himself, and I felt completely threatened on the front porch. Smith testified according to a Montgomery advisor. Gunn was shot five times. Smith said he stopped Gunn who was walking because the patrol district had been tore up with burglaries and had been directed in pre-shift roll call meetings to stop anyone and anything that moves in the district. The Montgomery advertiser reported. Smith said he believed he did everything right, the newspaper reported. With how I've been treated being in my district during my job, it would have been a whole lot easier to turn on my music, text my girlfriend, stay in my car, and never get out of the car in the first place, Smith said. According to the newspaper, I still be working, I still be on the street doing my job, but I chose to do my job at 3 in the morning with nobody looking over my shoulder, and I've been railroaded for it. Here's what I say about this story. You know, the judge denied the immunity for this Alabama cop. Now, we're hearing, we're showing videos of all the white suspects. They have guns, have knives, and still officers can subdue the suspect peacefully. These cases is driving drive me crazy because you see black suspects, whether he's armed or not armed, police officers sh- shot and killed black suspects anyway. So, basically, the judge did make in my opinion, the righteous decision because basically they would have granted immunity with police officers and won't, they don't deserve it. So the point I'm making is this. You know, why are you I mean, using active force? He, he, like I say, even if he does have a weapon, you can still use a stun gun to subdue to the suspect. Like you did with all the white suspects. I've seen um, one officer in Wisconsin use a one of them bean bags to subdue the white suspect and arrested him peacefully. You see with the Dylan Roof situation, what the situation there where they caught him in North Carolina and they sent him to the Burger King. Another white suspect, they just recently killed 18 year old Nia Wilson, slit her throat and they, they, they subdue him peacefully. But yet when it comes to black suspects, they shot and killed them. They didn't subdue them. They didn't tase them. None of that stuff. So, so I I believe in my heart that the judge made the righteous decision in this case because they would grant immunity, and then and then the grand jury probably won't even indict this officer for the murder because guess what? He claimed it's justified. Go figure. Well, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this article. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my reaction channel. And subscribe to my Black Johnson channel for more news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Day signing off. Deuces.